So here it is. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot longer than I expected. It's on this video where I'm replying to comments by Dave Jacob and um, the awakening for the ascension. Um, and let's see what he says. It says, man is a religious animal. So what? Religions can have influence on moral and ethics, yes. But how the hell does this tell us anything about whether or not someone without a religion still has morals or ethics? You have not shown that religion is necessary for morals and or ethics. I don't know if that was the point of the video. Um, <coughs> again, I would encourage people to watch the video and then the video that this is the comments the video where the comments on that i'm responding to that has the uh the comments from the awakening or awakening and dave jacob himself um again i the the amount of sorry the amount of uh vitriol or, or emotional anger behind this i i don't understand um my argument was that uh these things are naturally part of man, right? The Awakening said that only a very few people have ethics and morals, and I said I disagree. Let me see if I can get to that. Okay, responding to two comments, um, deals, uh, his culture and his traditions and his, uh, you know, um, I'll get back to that, though. Um, Dave Jacob, empathy as a feeling is natural. It can be suppressed or not trained by a system, but having no religion alone will not make a society lose this feeling. So you absolutely did not answer the question in the title. No. <clears throat> okay. Man is a religious animal, right? Um, ritualistic, pattern-seeking. Let's get to the Great Awakening um, part. And uh, embarrassment, um, Christian ethics and morals have seeped into everything. For the last of us. Um, but uh, I agree with you. I think uh, empathy and sympathy and all these things are are um, natural to humans. Um, yeah. Um, I was, you guys don't want to me to be dicking around trying to find where the awakening said that, um, where I read his comment where it says, only very few people on the planet have ethics and morals these days. Um, are you really trying to pretend like there is any society in the world where people have no empathy or compassion. Kind of seems the opposite of what I said there. Just because other societies have morals which show less compassion does not mean that they have none at all. A society that sacrifices people for a god or something like that surely has ethics and morals. I agree, they're very twisted. And we would see them as evil today. Um, but, yeah, there, there, were, there have been societies throughout history um, and, that have tried to break empathy and sympathy out of people. In fact, during times of war, propaganda, um, they try to channel um, sympathy away from the other and bring it towards... Um, an ideal, even times during like uh, different communist regimes, um, and currently North Korea, children would turn in their parents for corn, you know, or for some food, or just because they thought thought it was the duty to the state, even though the state was you know the one abusing them, and they feared the state, but you know, kind of like uh, you know this abusive relationship. I think it's not not natural and. It's, horrific. In fact, that's the archaeologists and anthropologists say that's why Teotihuacan um, fell, that the people just 
tore down the civilization, burned it down, and walked away because it was a state-centered um, culture. Um, but you're not just dis you're disagreeing with something that I, I have never said and do not say. Um, I'm pretty sure not all those morals and ethics are bad. No. Um, mothers take care of their infants, right? And um, it was the state of Sparta that took them away from their mothers, inspected them, and then put them out for exposure if they didn't please these old men, old pedophile men, actually, for being honest. Um, didn't mean the mothers didn't feel pain. I mean, there may have been some. It, Again, nature versus nurture and a different psychology. I mean, the, the our world now today doesn't allow us to look at societies that are totally alien to our own um, because of the world's been so interconnected since um, World War Two, World War One, that kind of thing. Or, or you could even say col uh, since the colonial expansion of um, Spain, England, France, and Portugal, and the Dutch. Um, <clears throat> the U.S. still has the death penalty. This is correct. And making that public, I actually don't see how it makes a big moral difference. What? I don't know where you're going with this, but okay. We also see violence on TV. We have horror movies, torture porn, and gore. Yeah, all things I despise and will actively go out of my way not to watch. Um, who watch those movies are not necessarily less moral than another person. Never said they were. So it seems to me like you're just trying to define moral and ethics as a thing you need, in all caps, you need it to be to be able to say that it can only be caused by Christianity or something like that. No! When did I say that? Christianity began um, with the followers of an apocalyptic preacher in Palestine, first given that name in Antioch by their adversaries, and it's 2,000 years old. Um, we find... Even, um, you know, under Sargon the Great, um, compassion and ethics in their law codes, and even in Hammurabi's code, um, no true Scotsman in a way. These are not, none of these arguments I've made, by the way. This is kind of the shocking thing about it. I, there's, there's a vitriolic anger against it, against me. Or what I've said, but not addressing anything that I've said. While claiming that I'm not addressing this person. Thinking and wondering about stuff is exactly that philosophy. I guess you're trying to argue that religion was the thing that made us people within a society agree on one... Agree on one philosophy and therefore made it possible to agree on ethics and morality for the society... Uh, subconsciously, maybe. Um, I mean, cultures, I mean, unless they're really, usually, unless they're like really diabolical, don't, you don't manufacture a culture intentionally. It, it kind of just grows up and then you realize, you know, unless something else is coming in a conflict with it, you realize differences. Um, and then you say, oh, we have to defend this. This is our way of life, you know. Um, then again, philosophy, ethics, religion, and morals weren't as separated out into these categories until not that long ago. I mean, they weren't, you know, there wasn't a real separation. You could say that the Greeks kind of separated more, well, no, I guess we couldn't um, say that the Greeks separated uh, philosophy from religion because they, they didn't. Um, 
in a way, I mean, looking back on it, projecting upon it, we could say, oh, well, they, they kind of did. Um, but they didn't, uh, well, that's, that's another video. But apes also have some rules within their groups. I agree. And I've said this about dogs many times, that dogs show compassion. Um, and uh, I guess you'd say morals or, or proto-morals. It still doesn't show that in our times we have states we need a... Where we have states we need a religion to make people show their agreement on specific rules. Um, not, not true. Um, so the state is now, is now God, basically? I mean, it's people that make up the nation state. If you believe in um, uh, republic, a republic form of government, if you are a Republican, and I'm not talking about the Republican Party of the United States, and also known as the GOP. I'm talking about um, democratic republic or constitutional republics. Um, instead of, you know, uh, monarchies or, you know, whatever alternatives there are out there today. Sultanates, which both of those run on a religious assumption, um, or ISIS, which in Boko Haram and the Taliban and Al Qaeda, which try to install a caliphate. But no, uh, I would encourage you to read more of Thomas More and um, maybe even Aquinas. Uh, again, great uh, humanists and philosophers. And humanist, again, uh, I shouldn't have to explain. Well, if I get challenged on the fact that, oh, they weren't, they were, they were Christians, not humanists, that's just a face palm right there because you know, only really within the 20th century did this humanist move away from, you know, its Christian basis still has its roots in it, but whatever. But it's made up of people who believe things, and um, the, the governments are derived by mandates from the masses, unless you have a dictatorship. Um, so no, things like abortion, um, divorce, whether, like in England, where they say, no, you can't get a divorce until you've been married for a year. Or marriage itself. Who can get married? Can you marry your cousin? Can you marry your brother? Can you marry your sister? Um, can you marry an animal? Um, things like these. Uh, which have been brought up in the court systems before. Uh, but there are points here that I think I should go into in videos. But I don't know that I've made a single one of these arguments um, at all. I mean, the rage that's coming out against stuff that I never said. I mean, I, I have a question for you, Mr. Dave Jacob. Why are you attributing all this stuff to me that I never said? Or even hinted. I mean, I've watched the video above where I completely disagree with what the awakening had quoted or the video where these comments are on when I'm speaking where is any of this found um, I mean I I agree I, I, I guess I don't know if I agree with what you're saying but um, I would be opposed to if the bizarro world version of me that said this that doesn't exist I would oppose that too but I, I don't know what the bizarro world of me said apparently you do because um, you you watched a different video from me from another dimension because I, I never made any of these arguments that you're opposing or statements that you're opposing these two I'll make a few other videos going through this